Hello, this video is about how to use Replit, which is a, an online uh, coding platform so that you can get practice uh, in a language such as JavaScript or Python or many other languages without having to download and install anything on your own computer. So when you haven't made an account yet, you're going to make a new account, right? So this is the homepage of Replit at replit.com and you're going to go to the sign up button and you're going to do whatever they ask you to do, right? So I already have an account, so I'm going to log in and show you the screen you'll see when you've already made an account. Okay, so if you have an account and you're logged in, you may come directly to this screen or your profile business might be hidden and you might see this. So if you don't see the menu on the left side, you're going to go to the little hamburger menu in the upper left corner and open that up. And if you already have some REPLs that you've made, um, you will see a list of them. I've put some of mine in folders, but you don't need folders. You will just have all your uh, files that you've made and saved. And you can work in different languages. And you can name them whatever you want to name them. So I have opened a really simple little starter file that I made in the past. Now, I will show you how to make a file from scratch, but first I want you to see the environment for coding in JavaScript. Now, this is JavaScript without any HTML, without any CSS, but just running JavaScript as a language. And you could run JavaScript this way in the console of your web browser, but Replit allows you to save your code and for the purposes of a course, it allows your instructor to check your work. So what you see on the left side is my code itself, and what you see on the right side is where the code is going to run. It hasn't run yet because I have not clicked this button. But let's look at the code first. I've got two lines of comments. So in JavaScript, comments start with a double slash, right? So that's not code that's going to run. Then I defined a variable. The variable is named one. Now let me highlight that, right? So I have a variable named one, and the value of that variable is my first name, Mindy. I have a second variable named two, the word two, and the value of that variable is my last name, McAdams. And then to run that code in JavaScript, you have to say console log, or you know, if you want this to print out to the console basically is what we're doing and I'm going to have it say my name is and then I am going to concatenate my variable named one and my variable named two and now I will run that code those three lines of code and you'll see what happens in the black screen on the right side. So you notice that this is the output of the code. So it's not showing the code itself again, it's actually showing the result. And in this case, the result is produced by this JavaScript built in function console log, which says uh, log to the console whatever is inside these parentheses. So that's what you see over here on the right hand side. And now I'll show you how to make a brand new REPL from scratch. Okay, so you're on the home screen, you're logged in, and you're going to look for this word create. And you have to pick the language that you're going to use before you do anything. So if you've already used one or more languages, you'll see some little buttons here. Uh, but if you're brand new, I don't think you will see those. Although you might, because I don't think I've written anything in C on Replit, but it's, it's shown me that that is one of my choices. If the language you want is not here, you click See All Languages, and you'll see that there are lots of languages you can choose from. Now, for my students for homework in JavaScript, what you're going to pick is Node.js, okay? And you could have picked that from the previous screen, but just in case you didn't have the choice for Node.js, you're going to choose it. You can choose it here. 
And uh, it says create a ripple and it gives you a really funny file name or title for your REPL. So I don't think that you should stick with whatever crazy words they gave you. I think you should name it your assignment, possibly your last name, something like that. So maybe I name it uh, you know, McAdams Assignment 6 or something like that. You keep it public so that I can see it and grade it. Um, you don't upgrade, you say Node.js, everything else is here. So now you say create REPL. And you wait for a moment till it says ready. And right now there is nothing here. So if you wanted to start with a comment, you would type two slashes. And if you wanted to make a variable, of course you'd say let, uh, let's say this word equal foobar, which is a string, right? Uh, whoops, what was that? That didn't work. Uh, semicolon, because it's JavaScript. Let's make another one. Let this number equal 42. So that one is a number. And then let's say um, uh, console log, right? I'm going to log my answer. And maybe I will just put this num. OK, so I'm going to console log the value of that variable. And then maybe I am going to console log another one. I'm hitting tab because you can, and that's shorter. Uh, this word, case sensitive. So if you use uppercase, remember to keep uppercase every time you use that variable and so on. So now I've got some code that should run. Uh, I haven't saved it. If you notice, there is no save button. And that's OK. It'll save automatically. Now, if you go offline, that might be a problem. Um, but this should be saved, and we'll check that in a moment. But let's run it and see what it does over on the right-hand side. And it logs two separate lines to the console because I said log this and then log this. And that's what it did. So uh, for your homework, you need to make sure that you've named it something other than Replit's crazy names. And then you're going to copy this. Actually, you don't really need index.js, although you could. And if you copy from the address bar that URL when your homework's done, that's the URL I want, right? And that will take me directly to this page where I can test your code. Now, to make sure that this is saved, I'm going to prove it by going back to uh, the home page. And I'm going to look at my REPLs. And this is the one I just made. It says I saved it three minutes ago, right? So I'm going to open that up and make sure everything's there. And it is. So this is everything I just typed. It was saved automatically, all right? And if I run it again, see, when I open it again, there's nothing on the right-hand side. Um, but if I run it again, it'll run, and it will log those two lines that I wanted to log.